Hi, sixth graders. So last week we learned about Israel and Judea. I hope you reviewed your lesson this last week, and I hope you answered the questions as well as completed your assignment and memorized your Bible verse. Well, this week we're going to move on to talk about our holy korbana. So let's start with a little bit of introduction about holy korbana. The Christian Church, which originated in Jerusalem, adopted many religious practices and modes of worship from the Jewish religion. The sacrifices and festivals of the Old Testament times have immensely influenced the Christian liturgy. Sacrifice is very important in all religions, and you may remember in your previous years of Sunday school, you've heard about many kinds of sacrifice in the Old Testament. For example, Genesis in Genesis four, you talk, heard about the sacrifice of Abel. In Genesis chapter eight, you talked about the sacrifice of Noah, and then in Genesis chapter twenty-two, there was the sacrifice that Abraham had. So there's various kinds of sacrifice, and their rules are described in the book of Leviticus, chapters one to seven. Sacrifice was offered as a recognition of personal relationship with God. The Jews offered the sacrifice in order to recognize the glory of God, to be in communion with God, and to obtain remission of sin from God. Sacrifices such as the burnt offering, peace offering, and sin offering were prevalent in Israel. Along with the sacrifices, it was common practice to offer bread and wine at the altar. To offer incense as well as other things, unblemished bull or lamb or young pigeons were also sacrificed. The offering was killed; its blood was sprinkled on the altar, and its flesh was burnt. The sacrifice of Christ on Calvary is the true sacrifice. Through this sacrifice, Christ gave absolution of sin and salvation. All the symbols of the Old Testament were the symbols of the sacrifice of Christ on Calvary. Now let's talk a little bit about the Passover in the Old Testament. Pash means to pass by. is the Jewish festival of Passover. The Pash is the commemoration of God. Delivering Israel from the slavery of Egypt, the people of Israel killed a young lamb and sprinkled its blood on the lintel of the door. Hence, the angel destroyer did not kill the firstborn of the houses of Israel. The people of Israel celebrated the Pash by eating the burnt flesh of the lamb with unleavened bread, together with bitter leaves. And drank wine, reciting psalms. So, what do you know about the offering of the sacrifice in the New Testament? Let's talk about that. On the feast of the Pash of the Jews, Jesus celebrated the Pash with his twelve apostles. On the night of the Pash, Jesus took bread, blessed, broke, and gave it to his apostles, and said, "This is my body." Take this and eat. Then he took the cup filled with wine, and after saying thanks, gave them and said, "This is my blood, poured out for remission of sins. Take and drink." Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist, saying, "Do this in remembrance of me." Christ instituted the Holy Eucharist, breaking bread. Is a symbol of breaking his body for mankind. The wine is a symbol of shedding his blood for mankind. Shedding of blood is inevitable in every sacrifice. The body and blood of Jesus of the Holy Korbana signifies the total self-oblation. The blood is separated from the body in the sacrifice. Jesus became the sacrifice through his death on the cross. The body and blood of Jesus is separated on the cross. 
Jesus was signifying his death on the cross at the Pash. Jesus taught that the Holy Kurbana is sacrificed through giving the bread as his body and wine as his blood. The sacrifice of the Holy Kurbana was the thanksgiving Jesus offered to God the Father. In the sacrifice of the Holy Kurbana, the offering and the priest is Jesus himself. This sacrifice is the greatest manifestation of his love for mankind. We've heard this Bible verse, Luke 22, verse 19. Do this in remembrance of me. Through this command, the bread and wine, which the priest blesses and sanctifies, are changed into the body and blood of Jesus. By receiving the body and blood of Jesus, we get eternal life. Jesus gave the power to the church to continue this sacrifice till the end of the world. Accordingly, this offering of the sacrifice is continued in the church. In the Holy Kurbana, the following are commemorated and celebrated. The creation of the universe, the history of Israel through the calling of Abraham, the birth of Jesus, the baptism of Jesus, the public life of Jesus, the Last Supper, the Crucifixion, the Resurrection, the Ascension, and the Second Coming. Holy Kurbana is the sacrament instituted for the salvation and eternal life of the whole mankind. Holy Kurbana is the center and crown of Christian life. The Church sees the Holy Kurbana as the Sacrament of Sacraments. All other sacraments lead to the Holy Kurbana. We offer ourselves a sacrifice together with Jesus through participating in this Holy Sacrifice. Hence, this is the sacrifice of the Church. Through the Holy Kurbana, we remember the miraculous things God has done to us through Jesus Christ. We who partake of the same bread and drink from the same cup become one body in Jesus. The experience of the Holy Eucharist is the experience of unity and solidarity. The Holy Kurbana is the divine banquet which joins the community in love and unity. The second Sunday of the liturgical year is known as Hudos Ito. The meaning of this word is the renovation of the church. On that day, in the hymn sung after the gospel reading, the sanctity of the church and the perfect sanctity of the sanctuary are specifically remembered. Let's listen to the song and worship. The Holy Kurbana is the center of Christian life. Let us express our love and thanksgiving towards God by participating devoutly in the Holy Kurbana. 
Let's learn your Bible verse for this week. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Psalm 50, verse 14. Okay, sixth graders, here are your questions for this week to review. Which are the main offerings of the sacrifices in the Old Testament? Why did the people of Israel celebrate Posh? How did Jesus celebrate the Posh with the apostles? What does the breaking of bread and pouring of wine in the Last Supper of Jesus symbolize? The sacrifice of Jesus is said to be the expression of his great love for mankind. Substantiate. How did the church understand the command of Jesus, Do this in memory of me? Finally, why is it said that the Holy Kurbana is to be the center and crown of Christian life? For your activity this week, I want you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 17 to 34. Then I want you to make a note on St. Paul's teaching on Holy Kurbana. Okay, sixth graders, that's all for Sunday school today. Go back, review your lesson, answer your questions, complete your assignment, and don't forget to memorize your Bible verse. Have a blessed week. See you all next week. Bye.